everybody. UPN Philly 57 presents Philadelphia Phillies baseball in today's game. The Phillies are taking on a Washington Nationals. Great day for afternoon baseball here. The Phillies looking to win in their fifth straight game and look to sweep the Nationals. They've won six out of seven. Nationals will take the field and then win the game last night by the score of three to one. Take a look at the series recap. He's won the first game four to nothing, six to four, three to one. Dominic Brown hit a three-run homer, and the Phillies look to sweep the Nationals here at National Park. Here's the Phillies round of repair: Utley, Jordan, Howard, Dutcher, Perez, Brown, Blanco. And pitcher Aaron Horan. And will go up against Jordan Zimmerman. Zimmerman 0 and 2 with a 6.55 BRA. 10 strikeouts, 3 walks, some regular 14 hits. He's pitched 11 innings. Is Nationals defensively with Jordan with Wilson Ramos catching Branson at first, Escobar second, Wendy third, Desmond shortstop, worth left field, the North fans. Right there. And here we go from Nationals Park. Uh, ben Rivera leads off. He's batting at 245. He's 2 for 11 in this series. And we're ready to get started. First pitch is low for a ball. First pitch, 135. Into the first baseman, and that will be the first out of the inning. That's the ball I took on foot. Here is Chase Sutley. He's full for 12 in this series, batting at 271. That's a ball. One ball and no strikes. Hit to the second baseman. Two outs. Excuse me, that's plans of playing first base. Escobar at second base. Here goes Brandon Jordan. In his last seven games, he's six for 26. He has three home runs, six RBIs. The first pitch is up high for a ball. Phillies have won four straight. That is foul. Brandon Jordan, a late draft pick, played quarterback in the NFL. That one's hit foul. One ball and two strikes. Didn't start playing baseball too late. And he was drafted out of the University of Miami. This one's hit foul. And picked up, drafted by the Phillies. He played a year in the minor leagues. This is his first year in the big leagues. He made his big league debut against the Red Sox. Two balls and two strikes. Billy is also getting Salvador Perez from the Kansas City Royals. That 
That one's hit to Escobar. And that'll retire the side. The Phillies go in order. We go to the bottom of the first as the Phillies nothing. The Nationals coming back. Here's the Nationals starting lineup. As you take a look, Bernard's fan, Nate McLeod, Worth, Rendon, and Desmond Ramos, Escobar, Kevin Francis, and the pitcher, Jordan. And Aaron Harang. He is 0-2. A high ERA of 7, two games. He's only pitched nine innings, eight strikeouts, four walks, and he surrendered 13 hits. And here's Denard Spann, a center fielder. And is in for a strike. No balls in one strike. Harang looks to have a better start than he had in his last couple games. He wants to go deeper in this one. Count one and two. One ball and two strikes. Did he go? Did he go? And he didn't. And the count is two and two. And fouls it. This man was very frustrated in his last couple of games. He said he wants to go deeper in this game. He said this is an important game for him. Because he thinks that he can pitch better than he has pitched in recent games. Line ball left field. And Dominic Brown has a beat on it. And he'll put it away. So there's one out here in the first. This is a length scout on the court, you see. Four season fastball seems like the best pitch. This is Nate McCloud. Low ball one. Line ball, center field, Ben Revere. Two outs. And they'll bring up Jason Worth. Batting at 294. Two home runs and five RBIs. That ball's hammered to right field. Jordan will put it away in a 1-2-3 inning for Harang. So both teams go in order in the, in the first. We go to the second, no score. Here's Ryan Howard. Howard batting at 233. Two home runs and seven RBIs. That one's in for a strike. A lot of people suspect Ryan Howard was not going to be a starter in the, this season. He has came along. He's hit two home runs. He's hit. He played pretty well. So he's trying to prove all the critics wrong. His pitch is outside. One ball and one strike. Hit foul, two balls and two strikes. Howard goes down, and is one out. Eight, 
Take a look. Oh, he was waiting on that one. Way late. Here goes Adrian Beltre, 9 for 24. He's batting at 326, 9 for 24 in his last six games. He's got nine RBIs. Strike. Beltre has 396 career home runs. He's four away from home run number 400. One ball and one strike. I got the count. One and two. One and two to count. Guide foul. And we'll go into the Phillies dugout. Beltre strikes out. Two outs. It's Salvador Perez. He has had his struggles trying to get back on track. Had a good season with the Royals, trying to get on track with the Phillies. This series, he's one for 16. Inside for a ball, 1 and 0. I think Salvador Perez will get on track early in the season, so he's trying to probably adjust to his new home and his foul. Not making excuses for him. But it's not been a good season, a good start, to say the least. And he would love to get it going here. He does have a home run. Ball is drilled foul. One ball and two strikes. Ball match outside. Two and two. That boss hammered the deep left field and caught by Jason Wirth. And then in the top of the second, Phillies go in order again. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. Here's Rendon, Anthony Rendon, landing at 286. in his second inning of work. That pitch is low. One ball and no strikes. One ball and one strike. Take a look at beautiful Nationals Park here in D.C. Two balls and one strike. No, that's low. Three and one. Ian Desmond waits on deck. Hey. Full count. Rendon didn't agree with it. And it's hit to Utley. And that's one out here in a second. It's Ian Desmond, the shortstop, batting at 316. This series is 0 for 9. He has struck out four times. So a lot of strikeouts in this series. But Desmond, right to harangue, make that 0 for 10.
Ramos to Beltre to Howard. And that'll do it for the second inning for the Nationals. No score after two. It's Dominic Brown, four home runs this season, batting at 278. He is four for eight. Dominic Brown. And Brown has had a good series. And also has having having a good start to the regular season. Low for a ball, no balls and one strike. Brown fouls it. Low, one ball and two strikes to Brown. Come on, Nat. Brown hits this one to first base. Brown's in will take it, and there's one out here in the third. Here's Andres Blanco, batting at 182. He's hit three singles in this series. Ball one, no strikes. It's no ball, one ball and no strikes. Three and nothing. Aaron Harang waits on deck. Zimmerman would love to mow him down in order one time. Go through the lineup. It's three balls and no strikes. And he got that over. Zimmerman not happy with that. He walks Blanco, and it'll bring up pitcher Aaron Harang. Now Zimmerman will love, want to hand that one back. Harang has no hits this season. Oh, now let's turn two. Nationals in double play depth. Harang might be here to bunt him over. And he pops it bunt foul behind home plate. No balls and one strike. They're going to go to second and safe. They went to second on the bunt. So a fielder's choice. Two outs, and it will bring up Ben Rivera. There's 0 for 1. And he fouls it. No balls on one strike. And on the ground to Simmons. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the third. They leave one left. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. Need a team when it hit. Here's Janel Escobar, batting at 243. Second baseman, Janel Escobar. Pitches outside, one ball and no strike. One and no to count. 
One and one. Pop foul. Ball two. Two and two. Well, nice work by Haran in his first couple of innings. He's really his confidence level has been up since the last two games. Just mowing them down. Kevin Franson waits on deck. Struck him out. Escobar goes down swinging. Oh, he might have chased ball four right there. And Escobar regrets doing that. There is Kevin Franson. And Franson on to Blanco. Throws over to Howard for the out. Two down for Jordan Zimmerman. Zimmerman has not had a hit this season. That is on to Howard, and he will tag the bag himself with the out. And that'll end the Nationals here in the third. They go in order here. That fast version has it in the fourth inning. After three, it's no score. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. And that's taken in by Escobar for the first out. This has been the story all afternoon. They have just not been able to get on top of his fastball. Here's another pop-up to prove it. Dominic Brown will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. One oh. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Franzen will get there as he's able to tuck this one away just past the first base dugout for route number two. He gets another easy pop up there and this is just turning into a walk in the park. It's been a pretty stress free outing for him so far. Andres Blanco will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. First pitch coming. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Escobar will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Wilson Ramos will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the first offering. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Howard is there, and it takes just one pitch to retire the leadoff man in the home half of the fifth. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Yunel Escobar will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. Good fastball there to start the at bat as Harang jumps ahead, nothing and one. Well, you see his pitch count on your screen right there. That's not a mistake. But he's been loving those first pitch outs, that's for sure. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now here's the pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? 
No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Now the veteran deals on one and two. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Kevin Franzen will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Here's the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. I had to protect on one and two, and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Aaron Harang will bat for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth. Catcher, Aaron Harang. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Ben Revere will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. From the stretch. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the one and one pitch. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Chase Utley will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch coming. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. The 1 0 home. Swing and a liner, but a foul ball. One one on the way and the runners breaking for third pitch misses low the throw down Oh, and the pitch is low and it won't be dug out so he's going to take third on the stolen base. Uh, I, I don't think he's too thrilled with himself behind the plate. It's hard to say for sure but if he puts this ball in the bag I think he's got a good shot of getting him at third. Instead this one's high. He might even be fortunate it's not down the line and the runner's able to slide in safely. And this is fouled at the plate. The 2 2 one more time. Foul back. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Here's another 2 2. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Wow, what an at bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a 3-2 and two count. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. 
Tom, and he's saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Brandon Jordan will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. And here's the first pitch. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. and And the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. Get to, get to. Here's the 1-0. Not close, it's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Now the 2-0. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. Desmond for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Yeah, really no shot at two on a high chopper like that one. They do wind up getting the force at second, but that runner from third is able to just waltz in and score. So it's a runner at first with two men out and digging in slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. Now the first pitch and a pitch out. Nothing doing though and that's ball one. Two out with the man at first. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this is going to be into the gap for Howard. Extra bases forthcoming. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. Yeah, one run scored earlier in the inning. And now here's a second man coming home to score all the way from first on the double. He makes some pay here with two outs. That could be a big at bat. Now the national skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. He'll depart after five and two thirds, as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Craig Stammen will come in and pitch now. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. And low and inside with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there. Boy, hitting the guy wouldn't exactly be the smoothest way to enter a ball game. He's lucky that one didn't get him. Get the 1-0 yeah. pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Two, two runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Beltre sitting on the 2-0, and this is hit well towards the hole. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies, two, and the Nationals, nothing. Bryce Harper is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. 1-0 on the way. And he falls behind now, 2-0. and Hitters count, 2-0. and And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. 3-1 on the way. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. 3-2. and two. 
Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Denard Spann will stand in now following leadoff walk, and might we see a bunt attempt here in a two-run ball game? Every extra run helps. It's a possibility, but I think they'll probably let him take his chances swinging away. 1-0 pitch now. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Brown comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Now here's the first pitch. Nate McLeod comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. 2-0 now. A couple of tight pitches here to start this at bat. He can't really say you're getting squeezed, but he's not really getting any help either. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul 2-1. Here's the two and one pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Now the three one pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. First and second now after the walk. And they haven't gotten much going offensively against this guy at all. So this is about as good an opportunity as they've had. First pitch on the way. Jason Wirt stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and And this is a spot where the Nats have had their share of trouble. They have to have someone come through here. 1-0 on the way. Grounded foul off to the right. Runners are at first and second with one away. A 1-1 on its way to work. Outside, 2-1. And, and with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Ready on 2-1. and one. And Worth among the best in baseball a couple of years ago working the count. He's got it to 3-1 and one now. And now 3-1 and one here. And if this is a borderline pitch here, you've got to let it go. This has to be in a perfect spot if you're going to hack. The 3-1. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I, I think these guys are the point of the series where they've seen enough of this guy swing back. Go ahead and take first base. Anthony Rendon will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit it still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? He's set. Now the pitch. There's a fastball right down Capitol Street. It's 0-2. Here at the plate, you just need to be thinking base hit here. A grand slam, that'd be sweet, but a single should be enough to tie up this game. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ian Desmond will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. Here we go. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Yeah, definitely take it all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. 1-1. One, one. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. So he will touch him all on the grand slam, and it's given the Nats a 4-2 lead.
on the mound, when he got that second out, you had a feeling maybe he's going to work his way out of this. Well, think again. That's a worst outcome possible right now. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And we're going to have a change coming up as that will be all for Aaron Harang. Five and two third innings of work on his final ledger as he was not particularly sharp from the get go here. This is on and he'll take over on the mound. Number 30, Justin DeFreitas. Wilson Ramos will be the first one to greet him here with the crowd still buzzing over the Grand Slam. Yeah, that's not the way you want to exit a ball game, but time to turn the page here. Now that they've got a new guy in the pitch, he'll at least get a fresh start. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and the bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. But the damage in the inning came right here for the Nationals. A grand slam home run. The 6 7 8 hitters coming up to start the seventh. It's now 4 2 Washington. Seventh inning, the Nationals with a 4 2 lead. He runs on with a grand slam in the bottom of the sixth. It looked like her ring was going to get out of it. But went on with a grand slam. That's a ball. And the Nationals with a 4 2 lead. So the Phillies have some work to do here in the seventh. You can't hold your head down for too long. You still got three more innings to go. Anything can happen. Phillies trying to sweep this four game series with the Nationals. Inside, two balls and one strike. And Aaron Harang was pitching well. I mean, he went through the Nationals lineup in order one through nine. One time, there's a ground ball over to Escobar. He'll throw over the frames and for the out. He went through that lineup in order. And then in the fifth inning, sixth inning, he ran into some trouble. Here's Dominic Brown. He popped out and grounded out. He is over two. That is a strike. No balls and one strike. Atlanta winning their game against Toronto eight to nothing. Oh and two. Five ball hit the center field and Denard Span will put it away. There's Andres Blanco. He's walking to the third. He's 0 for 1. The so Phillies will eventually get a pinch hitter in the top of the eighth if Blanco doesn't reach base here. One ball and no strikes. Ground back through the middle. That's a base hit to center field. So Blanco reaches base. Now batting, the pitcher, and it will bring Justin up the pitcher Justin DeFreitas. Now they're going to leave him in. This is. And they will get a pinch hitter. It'll be Darren Ruff. 18, Darren Ruff.
So Ruff will be the pinch hitter. That is in for a strike. Balls and one strike. Wait. I got a ball, one strike. Oh, oh, okay. Up high, one and one. This is a double, this is on the second, and that'll end the inning. Phillies go down the seventh, we go to the bottom on the seventh, stretch time at Nationals Park, score two Nationals. Your attention please. Now pitching for Philadelphia, number 53, Ken Giles. Ken Giles is the new pitcher. Washington, second baseman, Udell Escobar. Udell Escobar. That pitch is high. One ball and no strike. Hit foul. Come on. Here we go. Another foul. Double. One and two. Giles work here in the seventh. One and two. Come on, guys, we'll give it to him. Ball that jet Two balls and two strikes. Oh, fly ball left field, and this will go out of play. Oh, it pretty well, but it will go out of play. Still two and two. Hit on the ground, and this will be out number two. Excuse me, out number one. Here's Kevin France and Jonathan Pettibone in the Philly bullpen. Pitch is low. Phillies will have the top of the lineup coming up in the top of the eighth, trying to get something done, trying to mount a comeback here. Has Giles to Blanco. That's a high throw, but the catcher backs it up. Salvador Perez went behind first base just in case because it was going to be a tough play. It will get a pinch hitter. Ryan Zimmerman will be the pinch hitter for the Nationals. And here is Ryan Zimmerman's numbers. Getting here shortly. Oh, 
Low. Five homers, eight RBIs, a 250 batting average. He had the day off, but he's in pinch hitting. Run a goal from first and time for the out. Franson tries to steal second. He is caught stealing. So there'll be two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Catch a big break. They can see their way out of this inning here. Oh, what a stop by Beltre. And he throws out Zimmerman. What a play by Adrian Beltre. And that'll retire the Nationals here in the seventh. Revere Utley Jordan coming up in the eighth is for the two Nationals. Jerry Blevins in the game. He pitched four and two-thirds inning, two walks, three strikeouts. Has not given up a run in four games. Here's Ben Revere looking to get something going here and up top of the eighth. Revere fouls this one. one no balls and one strike. Rivera hits this one. Oh, this is a tough play. And Rivera beats it out. So it'll be an infield single. Rivera can run. And it is Chase Utley. So the Phillies have to tie and run at the plate. They will score that a base hit. Well, next week it'll be Harry Callis Tribute Week. So our play-by-play -play broadcast will be dedicated to the late great Philly broadcaster Harry Callis all next week on our live play-by-play -play game cast of Phillies baseball. One ball and no strikes. Very four stolen bases this season. And our other non-live play-by-play broadcast will be on KIR TV. Our non-play-by-play broadcast of Phillies baseball will be on KIR TV. Matt Vanskersen, Eric Harrells, and Steve Lyons. Utley fouls it. Two balls and one strike. Utley back through the middle. That's a base hit. Rivera is going to stop that second, but Spahn misplayed the ball. Rivera is going to end up at third base. So the Phillies have two on. Nobody out for Brandon Jordan. Casey Jansen will come in. Two on, nobody out. Jordan 0 for 3 with a ground out in the sixth inning. Knock in a run here or do more. Outside, one ball and no strikes. So Jansen's in the game for the Nationals. Jordan's up at bat in a key spot here in the eighth. One ball and one strike. Ryan Hahn and Beltre 
on the next hitters. Ooh, he chased a bad pitch and has one ball and two strikes. Oh, he was anxious, as you can see. Chased a bad one there. You don't want to do that in these opportunities, but this might be the last opportunity you'll get. Two balls and two strikes. You know he's not going to throw anything down the middle. He's going to go inside or outside or down low, hoping that Jordan will swing. Two and two. Full count now. Ryan Howard waits on that. And the national span is getting anxious here. Oh, chase ball four, and Jordan is out. They'll bring up Ryan Howard. He did double. In the sixth inning, knocking in the run. Well, Jordan has to be frustrated with himself. First and third, nobody out. He chased two pitches outside the zone. And Howard slings it to left field. It's pretty well hit. And this one is gone! Ryan Howard, a three-run home run. And the Phillies take a 5-4 to four lead here in the eighth inning. What a blow for Ryan Howard. And these national fans are not liking what has transpired here today. A big blow for Ryan Howard and the Phillies. And this pitch was down in the zone and Howard just knocked it out of the park. Three run homer for Howard. And the Nationals will get sending Tanner Ward in the pitch. That's Howard's third home run. Bell trade takes low, one ball and no strikes. Bell trade on the first. Kevin Franson will step on the bag and it's two out. It's Salvador Perez. Strike, no balls in one strike. That's a ball. ball in one strike. Fly ball right field. This is pretty well hit. It's well hit, but caught by Nate McLeod, and that'll end the inning, but Ryan Howard, or probably the hit of the day, a 3-1 home run to give the Phillies a 5-4 edge. Jonathan Papelbon in the bullpen, Lenard Spam will lead off the bottom of the eighth. with no strikes.
One and two. It has been a back and forth game. Rendon, Rendon hit a grand slam home run. The Phillies were up two to nothing. And Ryan Howard comes back in the eighth and hits a three run shot. Puts the Phillies up five to four. Two and two. Four, McLeod is on deck. Three balls and two strikes. <laughs> Struck him out. So there's one out in the eighth. We take a look at the comparisons. Aaron Hamrang will be let off the hook in this one. He's getting no decision. But he would love to have this one back. That grand slam by Rendon really just shattered him. And he was taken out after that. No balls in one strike. Oh, and two. This game was scoreless through three. No teams had a hit. This ball is Scott in the gap, the left center field. That's going to go to the wall. Jordan and Dominic Brown will play. This is going to be a triple for Nate McLeod. And then that ball was carrying well. It looked like it was going to hang up for Rivera, but it just kept going and going. And Dominic Brown ended up playing at McLeod for that third with a triple. And here's Jason Worth. That's McLeod's first triple of the year. That is a strike. So once again, the Nationals tie and run at third and one out. Jason Worth. Worth back through the middle. The game is tied. An RBI single for Jason Worth and the Nationals tied at five. It's a nice hit by Jason Worth. And it'll bring in Jonathan Pettibone here. On first, Anthony Rendon, he hit a grand slam in the sixth. And this is line, that's a base hit. Jason Worth round a second. He's going to end up at third. Jason Worth at third. Rendon at second. Second and third and one out. Here's Ian Desmond. Excuse, excuse me. Ian Desmond was the one who hit a grand slam. I kept saying Anthony Rendon. It was Ian Desmond who hit a grand slam home run in the sixth inning. My apologies. I thought it was Rendon. It was Ian Desmond who hit the grand slam in the sixth inning. If you want to get that information right. They're going to put Desmond on because he hit a grand slam in the sixth. Doesn't want any further damage. So an intentional walk. Ryan Sandberg can't believe what's going on. Here's Wilson Ramos. He's over three. The Phillies need a double play ball. That's what they need. That is a strike. One. 
Oh, they might get the double play. Yes, they will. Oh, what a, an opportunity. And what a big play by John the Pettibone to get out. Rose Andres Blanco turning the double play. If we go to the ninth, we're tied at five. Phillies needed that. Here's Dominic Brown. He flew out in the seventh. He's 0 for 3 today. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. Work is in the game. And Brown takes a strike. Is it foul? 0-2. That ball is to the third baseman. A fire on the first for the out. So there's one down in the ninth. And a bring up Andres Blanco who turned that double play in the eighth. He's singled in the seventh inning. An entertaining game to say the least. Phillies would love to have a 5-4 lead, but the Nationals ended up tying the game here in the bottom of the eighth. Two balls and no strikes. That ball's hit foul. Two and one. Three balls, one strike. Three balls and one strike. Phillies will probably get a pinch hitter for Jonathan Papelbon. Jonathan Pettibone. Wide ball. And that one will go foul. Full count. Hit, and Blanco is out. Two outs here in the ninth. Played by Desmond and Xavier Paul will be the pinch hitter. Xavier Paul does have two home runs this season. And that ball's hammered to left field. Might it be three? This is going to go over the wall. Jason Worth will play it on a couple of hops. And Xavier Paul's in at second base with a double. So Xavier Paul keeps the inning alive. And Ben Rivera will be the batter. That's Paul's first double of the season. Here's Rivera trying to get that run home. And that is to the pitcher. And the Phillies are done here in the top of the ninth. No runs on the hit. They leave one left. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Tied at five. Your attention, please. Jerome Williams was the new Philly pitcher. Three games. He's 1-0. One, oh. one save, a 2.70 ERA. He's pitched three innings. One walk and two strikeouts. You know Escobar will lead off the bottom of the ninth. And Escobar will sky it, and Blanco will have a beat on it, and he'll put it away for out number one. And they'll bring up Kevin France, and he singled in the seventh. On strike on Frenzy. One and one. Well, Two and one. I don't want to walk anybody here. 
It has been an entertaining game. It's been a good game. Back and forth. Pass Howard and in the right field. And his friends in second hit of the game. And you see the natural players on this, Rebaton, Espinosa, and Dan Ugla. Jose Lebaton will be the pinch hitter. David Buchanan in the Phillies bullpen. And he hits this one. Rockwell is going to turn two once again. He's been busy in the infield today. And we go to extra innings. We go to the tenth, tied at five. He fell to be the new Nationals pitcher, five games, 12.60 ERA. He's pitched five innings, four walks, and four strikeouts. And he'll face Chase Utley. Utley is singled twice and scored the run. And it's high for a ball, one ball, and no strikes. Foul, one and one. One ball and two strikes to count. Brandon Jordan waits on deck. Two and two. Chase the bat one there. He's out on strikes. He fell, got lucky with that one. And here's Jordan. Jordan struck out in the eighth. Can he make up for it now? 1 0. Oh. Two balls and no strikes. Ryan Howard waits on deck. Three and oh. Howard, two for four. With four RBIs in the game. He is the Phillies RBI leader in recent years and that didn't lead to the team in RBIs last year he was hurt for most of the year that is a strike three balls and one strike it's foul so the count is full As ball four, Jordan walks. It'll bring up Ryan Howard. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. Howard Homer, the three run homer in the eighth, and he has doubled and has knocked in four runs. Howard takes a strike, no balls in one strike. One, uh, and one, the pitch out to no avail. Jordan can steal bases. He beat out a double play ball to get the Phillies their first one. One and two. Beltray waits on deck. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, they're going to stay away from Howard down that middle of the plate. Inside, full count. Beltre's on deck. If Howard walks, Jordan will be on that second. You know how fast, quick he is. The Phillies will be in business here. They're already in business. Howard draws a walk. It is two on and one out for Adrian Beltre. And they'll bring in another pitcher, Drew Storen. He's pitched two innings this season in two games and one strikeout. There's Beltre, he doubled in the fifth. Trying to get another hit to get the Phillies ahead. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, that middle of the Phillies lineup is deadly, and that's why they brought in Domin Salvador Perez. That middle of that Phillies lineup is very deadly. Beltre, this is going to be a gapper in the right field. The Phillies are going to have the lead here in the 10th inning as Jordan scores. Howard, he is being a wave home. The throw, and Howard is safe. The Phillies with a 7-5 lead here in the 10th inning. An RBI double by a, a two-run double by Adrian Beltre. And still one out. Here in the tenth. That's the sixth RBI of the year. Salvador Perez is the batter. Adrian Beltre coming up huge in a big way here for the Phillies here in the tenth inning. And that is a strike. No balls in one strike. strikes Full count Dominic Brown on deck 7-5 Phillies here Phillies baseball here on UPN Philly 57 Phillies looking for the four game sweep over the Nationals foul still a full count Ball four. And the Nationals in trouble here. The one out is Dominic Brown. He's 0 for 4. He grounded out. Andres Blanco's on deck. Now Jonathan Papelbon is up in the Phillies bullpen. And Brown misses. No balls and one strike. Brown still alive, no balls and two strikes. side and a run is going to score and it is eight to five Phillies 
Adrian Beltre just beats out the throw. Phillies are having a big inning. That's their third run of the inning. Here is Andre Blanco. No balls in one strike. Foul, 0-2. Hit foul, one ball and two strikes. This is a double play ball, and that will end the inning. But the Phillies with a three run rally here in the tenth inning. One left, Nationals up in the bottom of the tenth. Phillies trying to hang on for the four game sweep. Here's an art span. He is 0 for 4. Jerome Williams is still in the game. I thought they were going to bring in Jonathan Papelbon, but they're going to keep Williams in the game, and Spahn takes low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Two and zero. Clock on deck. And you don't want this to happen. You get a three and run lead and then you walk the first batter. That is in for a strike, it's three and one. Gets the count four now. That one's hammered the right field. And Jordan puts it away for the first out. Here's Nate McLeod. He tripled and singled. One strike. Jason Worth waits on deck. Ball and one strike. Beats a foul. Sky in the center field, shallow center. Ben Rivera. Two outs here in the tenth. Here's Jason Wirth. Jerome Williams looking to finish this one off here in the tenth inning. Phillies with an eight to five lead. Here we go. And Wirth hits this one in the left field, a base hit. So Wirth is on. Wirth has had a good day here. And Ryan Sandberg says he's had enough. And he will make a double switch. Jake Diekman is in the game. He is the pitcher. And Don the batter. Phillies with 11 hits to the Nationals 9. Here we go. 
Two balls and no strikes. Now you got Ian Desmond that represents the tie and run. You want to get Rendon here. That is caught by Beltray, and the game is over. The Phillies win this one by the score of 8 to 5 in 10 innings. Ryan Howard, a three run homer. Adrian Beltray, a two run double. The Phillies had their offense going late in the game, but they pick up the win with a late rally and attempt. Tide took the lead in the top of the eighth after being down 4 to 2. Once again, Howard with a three run homer. Jerome Williams will pick up the win. And the Phillies have swept the Nationals in this four-game series. They've won five straight overall. Jerome Williams. He pitched an inning in two-thirds, picking up the win. Big win for the Phillies as they won five straight. Ryan Howard is the player of the game. A home run and four RBIs. Ian Desmond hit a grand slam for the Nationals. And Jason Wirth with an RBI single to tie the game. That was the offense for the Nationals in today's game. Phillies win it by the score of eight to five. We'll talk to you next time. And stay tuned for more Phillies baseball on UPN Philly 57. Subscribe.